The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. It's that time again. Does telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show this time every week with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. It's been a long time. What's our storytelling tip this week? It has been a long time. I'm happy to be here. And this week's tip is to keep it fresh. You know, things like bread and... Um, um, Fruit or any kind of My fruit, humor. it's stale. Yep. Humor can get stale. Metal rusts. Yeah. Everything uh, has uh, some sort of life where it needs to be freshened up. And the same is true of your message. If you um, haven't changed or looked at your message for a while, you might want to take a look from time to time just to see if it needs to be freshened up. Because at some point it does need to be. How do you know? I mean, you, you sit there and say that uh, bananas get pretty dicey after a week, and I, I can dig that. You even uh, say, contrary to uh, popular opinion, uh, Twinkies have a shelf life. Yeah, They may not have gotten stale, but at least Hostess put a show <laughs> oh, okay, on, right. an expiration date on it. So how do you know when, you're, uh, when, when your story or, or whatever you're trying to accomplish uh, is, is stale? Well, I think there are two ways, really. First one is is whether, is, you know, look at what you're saying, and, and, and is it saying what you want to be saying right now? Does it reflect where your business is today as opposed to whenever you drafted your message? But the other way really is to pay attention to your audience and see whether it resonates or not. You used to be, a, you used to do some stand-up St- comedy. St- well, not stand-up stand comedy. Well, yeah, Never. Maybe. Yeah. Never. Well, and and stage were, magic, yes, well, but, uh, but I was very humorous. Right, but, you know, some things, I'm sure you learned that some things worked and some didn't. And Ask so me about Ben in Arkansas. No, 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 yeah. well, that's a whole other story and not appropriate. You're right. Not appropriate for this. Okay. Okay, so Jerry, here's the thing is is we know that if our company evolves and we're doing new things, that makes sense. Update our message. But if really something hasn't changed that much, I think that we get so attached to because of how long it took us to craft that message. That's like that's our pet project and we're afraid to make any changes or it's really it was really good the way it was even though I've been saying the same thing for 7 years. Does that make sense? It, it, well, it does make sense. On the other hand, you know, people change, your audience changes, times change, and, uh, you know, we, we, have you ever noticed, you know, companies will sometimes freshen up their logo or their look, yes. uh, you know, not because of anything other than the fact that it's just become a little dated. Plus, the reality is, you know, I, there's a line here because you do need to repeat your message as often as possible because until people have heard a lot of times, they won't hear it at all, yeah, the pencil- but at the same time, and they may get bored with it if they once they've heard it enough. Exactly. You know, saying the same thing. And I think the pendulum can swing all the way to the other side, and, and you know, you, you sit there and you update continually, and nobody gets any traction on it. Well, yeah, if you're, if you're changing your message every day, unless there's a reason to do that, I mean, if you have a daily business where you have to change, you know, the specifics of what you're talking about, but you're right, you have to... First of all, if you're if you haven't got the right message, then you want to change it. But yeah, if you once you get the right message, you need to repeat it long enough and long probably in some cases beyond when you're tired of it because that's when the rest of us are beginning to hear it. But at some point you need to freshen it up either because it doesn't reflect what you really need to say now or it's time to give your audience something new to think about. It is time to give your audience something new to think about. It is the new year, the new month. It is time for something new. And I know that's one of the pieces that we've been talking about here in the studio is you keeping bet. it fresh and, and bringing in an all new um, an all new show, all new ads, all new commercials, and just to freshen it up. So, Jerry, we're on the, we're on the same wavelength. Thanks. Great. All right, so now as the late journalist and screenwriter Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. He can also edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. You can reach Jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. 303-594-8016. Jerry Brown, 
Thanks for keeping it fresh, man. Thank you. Absolutely.